So I'll just show you a few features on the touchscreen. Uh, just starting at the top here with the uh, battery screen. Yeah. So the battery is the heart of the Model S. Okay. Uh, we have two versions. We have a 60 kilowatt hour battery and an okay. 85 kilowatt hour battery. Okay. That gives us 208 miles of range or 265 miles of range. Okay. That range is calculated at 55 miles an hour with all the electronics going. If you go faster, you're going to get less range. If you go yeah. slower, you'll get more. We currently have 171 miles of usable range remaining okay. on this charge. Um, up here at the top, we have Homelink, so we can hook up uh, up to three garage doors uh, to this car. Okay. We can also put up to 10 names in here. Uh, these are our memory seat settings. Okay, okay. Um, if I click the Tesla T, it'll show us which version of the software we're on. We're okay. on version 5.0. Uh, the Model S completely runs on wireless software updates. So as you own the car, it's going to keep getting better. We'll keep improving existing features okay. and also adding new features to the car. If we click on the release notes here, we can even see which new features we've added in 5.0. Okay. So you're uh, always aware of uh, what updates we've made. Cool. Um, going back here to the media, um, we have a full media system. FM and AM radio are standard. XM radio is optional. Uh -huh. Internet radio is also standard. Uh, it's through Slacker. You can actually use a voice command and okay. say any song you can think of, and it'll play that song. Oh, wow. Um, and then My Music and Devices. Um, this is uh, all the uh, devices that we've hooked up to the car, um, hardwired via the USB ports okay. down here or with Bluetooth. So there's my phone, so I can stream, you know, music from my phone, Spotify. So how are like you getting that. connection? From your phone? Bluetooth, yeah. So from my phone's phone. in my okay. pocket. It's just wireless. Okay. Okay. Uh, the navigation system um, is full Google Maps. Uh, so right now, um, you can see that we've mapped um, all of our superchargers for you. Um, do you know about our oh, superchargers? Yes, yes. I so yeah, they're fast it, charging yeah. stations. Yeah, you get yeah. about a half a charge in about 20 to 30 minutes, right. uh, sometimes even faster. Um, and we've mapped them all for you here. When we add new superchargers, they're automatically going to show up on this map. Okay. Uh, energy usage tells us how efficiently we're driving the Model S. Uh, we measure efficiency in watt hours per mile okay. instead of miles per gallon. We have an 85,000 watt hour battery and how many miles we get per that 85,000 watt hours is our okay. total efficiency. Uh, we have a full web browser wow. in the car <laughs> so you can surf the internet. Yeah. Um, there's a built-in 3G radio. You can also tether your phone to the car or hook up to Wi-Fi okay. as well. We have a high-definition Does it lock camera. when you're driving or? Uh, no, no? Okay. all the features are available while driving so a passenger can use it. Yeah. Um, most of the important functions, navigation, uh, media, and also phone calls can all be done with a voice command. I see. Uh, high definition backup camera is standard. You can also get parking sensors as well. Okay. And then a uh, phone, uh, it's fantastic. It basically pushes your iPhone interface right. uh, for calls here. So here's all my contacts. Here's Only for iPhone? Does it, or is iPhone, it Android, Android, and Windows okay. Phone. All right. And there's an unlimited number of contacts you can push as well and dialer. Down here is your climate control. We have uh -huh. heated seats in the front. Okay. You can get heated seats in the back if you want. And then car controls. Uh, if you get the sunroof installed in the Model S, the controls are here. There's no physical buttons for the sunroof. Mm -hmm. To open it, you just slide back the percentage that you want it to open and release, and it opens up. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's a huge sunroof. Uh, this front panel goes back, and the back panel here is fixed. Okay. It's optional. You can get a solid roof as well if you want. Right. Uh, as far as driving controls are concerned, uh, this car has air suspension. Uh, the air suspension adjusts our ride as we drive. Uh, you can get coil suspension, which is standard. Uh, the air suspension uh, is a $2,250 option. Uh, you can also manually raise the car a little uh, over an uh -huh. inch uh, if you want to clear uh, high obstacles like high curbs or if you have a really steep driveway. Okay. Um, you can get up that driveway. We have three steering modes um, and then regenerative braking. So regenerative braking is very, very important to the drive system of the Model S. It's very different than anything you've probably experienced in a yeah. gas car. When you let off the throttle in the Model S, the car doesn't coast. It's actually going to brake for us. Oh, OK. Yeah, it's going to pull us that. down from yeah. speed automatically. We're going to be recovering lost momentum and putting energy back into the battery. OK. The regenerative braking system all works within the electric motor. So that's in the electric motor, and then the actual brakes are actuated by the brake pedal. Okay. So when you're braking, you're actually using the motor and the brakes to slow us down no. simultaneously. Okay. You can put regen in standard or low, but you can never defeat the regen oh, completely. Okay. Okay. Uh, we also have creep. Creep is when the car is in drive and it moves forward slowly. Right, right. Uh, we've Just, simulated it. Uh -huh. um, an electric motor doesn't idle. It doesn't actually start turning until we give it throttle. So okay. we've simulated. Oh, right. I see. Okay. So like for regular automatic cars. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Um, you have two trip meters. Your display also has a night mode as well. Uh -huh. 
uh, so all the colors invert at night, so it's not distracting or too bright. And uh, we've also just added screen cleaning mode, uh, so you can go in here, <laughs> wipe the. That's a nice, yeah. So it's a nice little, feature. little things like screen yeah, cleaning mode things. are yeah, things yeah. that we add as we learn right, how people right, right. use the software, yeah. right? So no, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a lot of a lot of fingerprints get on the screen, and uh, you yeah. end up pressing all the buttons as you clean it. Yeah. Um, all your door locks and light controls are all here. You just click controls to get in there. Okay. If somebody wants to get in the car, you click unlock. The door handles come out. You click lock. Okay. The door handles go in. Um, those are the main features uh, of the car. Um, if you're in a comfortable position, mm -hmm. uh, we'll go for a drive. So, like, I'm I'm curious about the uh, voice command for the panel. Yeah. So I can just say, like, okay, get directions to Berkeley. Is that yes. how it goes? Yeah, so this is the voice command button. Uh -huh. So you hold it down. And then it says recording here. Okay. You hold it down and say your command and release, and okay. then it'll say processing. Okay. Can I just try it? We don't yeah, have sure. to go there. I just want to try it. Yeah, sure. Let's just see. give it a second to. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what do I say? So the primary commands are play, uh -huh. call, and navigate to. Okay. So I can just press this and say yeah, and navigate wait till to. wait till it says recording and release. Not, yeah. Try again. It's because the car's off. Put your foot uh, on the brake. Oh. That'll flip that back around. All right. Okay. And then just press this. Hold it down. Get directions to Berkeley. Oh. Yeah. yeah. To release now. It, it Navigate to. It won't understand okay, that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One more time. So just press this. Mm -hmm. Hold. Navigate to Berkeley. Okay, awesome. Cool. And so you can give it an actual address. So you can say navigate to 123 Main Street. Okay. Or you can say navigate to Ikea, and it'll find the closest, closest Ikea. one. Okay, yeah. Navigate to Starbucks. It'll find all the closest Starbucks. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um, so. Um, what about the handbrake? Does, does it have any handbrake? Uh, it has uh, an automatic uh, parking brake that's okay. actuated when you put the car in park. When you put the car in drive, it automatically releases the parking brake. So there's no separate control for it. How do you set from parking to drive? Um, I'll show you in a second. I'm going to ask this. Okay, go ahead. All right. When you're uh, ready to go, yep. put your foot on the brake and then pull this straight down into D. Ah, okay. And release. And now we're ready to go. All right. I'm just going to go out around this way. Um, sorry. No problem. To do this. And what about how do I? Uh, uh, on the door are your controls. Do you pick the click the button for the mirror you want to adjust? Press the mirror here. Oh, I see. And then use the pad. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So we actually have to swipe out okay. this guard gate. So we have a card here. Stop. Yep. Just like just here. Mm -hmm. uh, no, oh, swipe here. Yeah, swipe right. Uh, yeah. I think it's the other way. Once this light turns green, we're going to make a left. That's okay. The turn signal is the low stock on your left. This one here? Yes. All right. So do you work in the area? Uh, I work in San Leandro. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you do? I'm a uh, system integrator uh, for a software company. Cool. Yeah, it's com the company is called Outside Software. I don't think a lot of people have heard of it. <laughs> I've but, heard of it now. Yeah.
So on the right hand side of the dial here, you'll see that we're in the orange. Okay. The orange is the kilowatts that are being used instantaneously. Uh, okay. When you let off the throttle, you'll feel the car slow us down automatically and this will go into the green. Okay. The green is the regen working. That's the kilowatts we're putting back into the battery. Okay. So should I just go straight? Yep, just straight ahead. Okay. So the car is very quiet, very smooth. Right. Uh, we owe a lot of that smoothness to the fact that there's no transmission right. in the car. Uh, it's really just a single fixed gear. So a single reduction gear. There's no shifting, no clutch. Yeah. Uh, it's linear acceleration to 130 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm still not used like when you uh, release the accelerator. Yeah. It's, you know. It slows you down. Yeah, yeah so the feeling is different from, you know, my car. <laughs> After you drive the car for about a day, you get used to you it. It's used just to a little bit different. I'm than sure. What you're used to. Yeah. We're gonna stay in the right-hand lane and keep going straight on 13. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's really smooth too. So it's really nice. Mm -hmm. The feeling is nice. It's a great car for road trips, especially with the supercharger stations. Uh, it's really smooth. Okay. So I heard that you guys are experimenting of doing like uh, from coast to coast. Yes, so we're planning on uh, installing superchargers to allow coast-to-coast -coast travel within mm -hmm. the next 12 months or so. 12 months, okay. Um, our goal is to open up the I-80 corridor so you can drive from here to New York City. New York City, okay. Yeah, but you have to follow a certain path though, right? You cannot just go, like, you know, anywhere you want. Uh, so, if you want to charge quickly, you have to use our superchargers. There's okay. no other public charging stations that allow you to charge anywhere close to as fast as our superchargers should allow. Right. Uh, you can uh, charge on regular public charging stations, which I'm sure you've seen. Yes. We give you an adapter to use those. Ah, uh, okay. Um, but uh, for the most part, those are 30 amp services. They only give you about 18 miles of range. Right. Anywhere. Okay. So, it's not terribly quick. more of an overnight charge. Right. Um, the way you charge the car normally is you get a 50 amp, 240 volt outlet installed in your house and you plug it in every night, kind of like you plug in your cell phone before you go. Okay. Home. Okay, when you're cruising on the highway, when you release the accelerator, you know, it doesn't feel as as bad as when you're just like a... It it's, yeah. feels more powerful at slower speeds. Right, right. Yeah, it feels more powerful at slower speeds. That's it's right. a nice way to drive in traffic, though, because normally you're used to switching between the pedals, right? Oh, yeah. To slow down. That's this, true. You, just you don't on. really have to step on the brake. Yeah. Uh, a side effect of that is that your brake pads are going to last longer, too, because okay. you're not going to be using your brakes as much. Okay, yeah. So what else? We're gonna get off okay. the next exit. All right. I'm sorry. What else can you? Uh, what what interesting things can you? Uh, can you tell me about the car? Uh, so um, as far as uh, we're gonna get off at this exit. Car right Boulevard. Here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, are you familiar with the safety of the Model S? Uh, kinda, yeah. So the Model S is the safest car ever tested in North America. Okay. Uh, we've really uh, we've received five star crash test ratings. Um, on, from uh, National Highway uh, Crash Test Safety. Okay. Um, basically, um, all of the tests that they did on the car, the car overperformed. We're just gonna make a left, left? right here. Okay. Yep. Um, when we did the uh, roof crush test, the, yes. the roof of the Model S actually broke the machine that does the uh, roof <laughs> okay. crush testing. We're gonna wow. make a right. a right here and go yeah. kind of around this. This wire? Uh, yeah, yeah, right here. Okay. Uh, they also had to use a totally different test to do a rollover test for the Model S. Oh. The battery of the car, we're just going to go right yes. here and get back on the highway. Uh -huh. uh, the battery of the Model S is flat in the base of the vehicle. Okay. It gives us an extremely low center of gravity that's more on par with a sports car than mm. is a yep, yep. full-size sedan. So that gives us really, really great stability, great handling, and also makes the car far less prone to rollover okay. in, a, in an accident. You also have an incredible amount of storage. You have all the storage in the back, yes. the rear seats fold flat, and you have all the storage under the hood as well. 
The uh, electric motor is uh, only about the size of a watermelon it's in between the rear wheels. So we have far more storage than other cars in the same class. Okay. So it's very practical and very quick. Um, if you want, uh, while we're on uh, the highway, at least staying in uh, <laughs> within a uh, speed limit. Yes. Push. Tap, yeah, push the pedal a little bit and feel how quick. There's like a lot of cars here. I've been meaning to try it, but there's a lot yeah. of cars. Oh wow, that feels good. So you can that feel feels really that smooth. You have immediate acceleration. Yes. The Model S. Yes. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh man. You have good brakes too. <laughs> yeah. I can test the brake too. <laughs> <laughs> right. So in, in addition to having the motor to help slow us down, we also have four piston Brembo brakes at all four corners. Yeah. Um, so those uh, give us fantastic stopping power. Right, right. As you probably already know, the Model S has won several Car of the Year awards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, motor Trends Car of the Year, Automobile Magazine's Car of the Year. Um, it's, uh, we're, we're, I think we've run out of awards to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a pro not a bad problem to have. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. The sound is really nice, too. It's like a spaceship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a spaceship. That's right. Now, if you drive that way, you drive aggressively and really give it a lot of throttle, you will lose range much quicker. Mm, of course. So, if you... If your commute isn't very far, then you can drive any way you want. Okay. Uh, but if you have a long trip, then you want to be a little bit more conservative. We're going to 13, drive. right? Uh, yeah, we're just going straight ahead. Oh, we're not going to go to the exit. Yeah, 13. Yeah. stop doing that <laughs> it just feels uh, so good yeah you know, it's it's a it's a, an addictive feeling <laughs> yeah it's a addictive feeling that's right it's a lot it's... of fun there's really no there are a lot of fantastic sports cars out there but there's nothing that accelerates immediately like a right. electric vehicle we right. have no turbos to spool up we have no air intake and there's no uh, lag too no downshifting yeah. it's just it's it's immediate power and that really is kind of the best part about driving the yeah Plus. yeah And you also know we build the cars in Fremont, so just south of here. That's where I live, actually. Oh, you live in Fremont? Yeah, because like when they announced that they uh, have, uh, you guys have like a factory store there, right? Yes, I work at the factory. Oh, you work at the store? Yeah. I was gonna go there once or one of these days, but <laughs> never had the time. Do you guys do factory tour or no? Uh, so we do factory tours once you order your car. Okay. <laughs> so uh, if you place an order for a car, uh, and then you get a factory tour. Uh, usually, what we do is we schedule your. We schedule your delivery, yeah. and then uh, we take you on an hour-long tour of the factory, oh, and then your car's waiting for you at the end. Awesome. Of the wow. That's it's a, fun, a fun day. Customer service, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but the uh, the deal, you have a dealer too, right? The factory store is open for public? Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. We have a showroom, mm -hmm. okay. um, and uh, all the finishes, colors you can see at the factory store. Cool. It's good that you live in Fremont because, yeah, I work at the factory store. So if you yeah. wanted to come back in and you wanted to drive yeah, yeah, yeah. again, Definitely. you wanted to see other variants of the car, you could always come back. Oh, you do you do test drive too in the Fremont? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you didn't have to come to Berkeley. Yeah. You could have stayed, stayed at home. Yeah, I didn't know that. But that, that's all right, though. Yeah. Yeah, we just started recently, just a few months ago. Okay. Because I, I saw, like, uh, one of uh, the Google Plus, you know, like, you know, hey, we're doing test drive. You know, please come. Yeah. I thought that's like, you know, just like a, some event that you're doing. No, it's uh, every day. Okay, <laughs> cool. Yeah, we have a real factory store now. Okay. Are you thinking about getting a new car soon? Well, I'm actively looking let's just put it that way mm. but, but i don't really have like a timeline to, okay you know because i don't want to buy the wrong car so yeah i'm taking my time to, to to look i mean i i heard all the hype about tesla but mm. you know uh, i just want to 
see what I can get for that amount of money. Oh yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of money. It's not a, yeah, it's an not, expensive car, right? But on the same token, there's nothing else like this. Yeah, so I want to know if it's so truly it's, worth it, you know, to spend that amount of money. And so far, the impression has been good. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's really an incredible vehicle. It's an incredible piece of technology. Yes. Um, if, if you have any question about the purchase if you're even thinking about it in the future you really only need to come hang out at our factory store we awesome. have a supercharger there yeah and just talk to our owners we're gonna go back in this okay. way our owners sell more cars than we do i think <laughs> your owners yeah oh, owners of the model s okay i, I was like yeah. elon musk is gonna be no 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 out there i was <laughs> no e elon will not be there <laughs> owners of model s right well. okay No? This way, right? Or the uh, other way? With the... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, just this oh, way. Okay. That's right. You can just nose it right into one of these handicaps. Okay. Great. And to put the car in park, you just press right here. Press here? Yep. That cool. automatically actuates the parking brake. Yeah. And that's it. When you get out of the car, uh, you just keep the key in your pocket. Uh, this is the key. Oh, that's the key. Maybe I haven't showed you the key yet. This is the key to the Model S. Okay. It's a little car. <laughs> wow, keep... that's, that's awesome. <laughs> you just keep it in your pocket. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, thanks a lot for showing me. Yeah, you're very I'm welcome. I'm just going to turn it off.